Hi, I'm Jasmine Shearney. Come get ready with me for French Quarter Fest while I answer questions about my latest trip to LA. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on these eye masking. Ah! First step for me is before I even start putting on makeup or doing anything is face prep. So, I'm gonna put these little eye patches on. I already did a mask earlier. And I'm gonna put the snail mucin on and I'm gonna start on my hair first while I answer these questions. So one of the questions that I got were pretty similar. I tried to write some of them down just in case I needed a reference. So if you see me look down here, that's what I'm doing. Just referencing my little pink work notebook. So the first questions, that makes sense to answer. Obviously, you're gonna be like, hey, what did I do? When was I there? So, I arrived in LA, I think, Wednesday, March 27th, and then I stayed until ooh, April 7th. So, it was about a week and a half. It's pretty long. I was originally gonna to go to LA for April 3rd ah, through the 7th, but I decided since I was gonna be at Pornhub Awards because I was nominated. Actually, I don't know if I can say that. So the Hub Awards. <laughs> Since I was nominated, um, it just didn't make sense for me to like leave, come back to New Orleans, and then go back to LA. So I stayed the whole time. I had three studio shoots, three professional shoots, um, and those were with Brazzers, or Easy Universe, four play films with Inca Winters, and then I did a shoot with Mofos with uh, Charles Dana. So very exciting for those. I did, let me get this set up. I also don't have like, typically when I'm getting ready, I'm bouncing in between like three different mirrors in my house. So, oh fuck, I don't have my hair gel. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go grab my hair gel and I'll be right back. Oh my God. This is hard. This is, I don't have a setup for this, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna be back. Hair gel, we need hair gel. Also, Raquel, my editor, will probably laugh at me because she's usually the person who slicks my hair back. I have no idea how to do this. So we're actually, we're gonna try the hair slicking back and I need to put on lotion. So there's that. Anyway, so those are my professional shoots. Then I had some more personal things that I worked on and the people that I worked with for those were Molly Little, Adonis Breeds, Ellie Clutch, she is so awesome, I love her. Um, let's see, who else did I work with? Uh, Jay Romero, Nade Nasty. And then on even lighter personal work, I did a photo shoot with my friend Loki before the Hub Awards, me and Sarah. He got some beautiful shots of us, so excited. So I wanna do a photo shoot with him and we got great, great photos. And then I did two rope bondage or shibari photo shoots. One with, how do I say it? I think it is Nagi 1994. Uh, we'll put his Instagram handle up. So I did one with him. And then I did another shoot, a rooftop shoot with Rosifer. And I'm very excited about both of those. Um, a little worried about what platforms I'll be able to put each one of those up on, but very excited. Oh, and I went live with Girls Gone Live, which is a new like streaming channel. They're gonna be, they're on Twitch, they have a YouTube, they're on TikTok and all that. So got, I know the two people who are starting it, or I guess the three people. And uh, yeah, so excited that I was able to be on one of their first lives. I think it was the second live, we streamed on Easter. And uh, that was really good. So anyway, back to just day by day. So first we went to the Pornhub Awards. I landed in LA on the night of the 27th. Yeah. And I went straight to the hotel room. I dropped off my bags. I was already ready. My friend Raquel came and did my hair. I got dressed. She did a photo shoot with me. It was and then I went to the airport <laughs> looking like that, which was, I don't know, it was just hard. You know, walking through airport security with a lot of chains on me, but 
Thankfully, they let me through and did not stop me for it, which I was very grateful for. And then after I dropped off my bags in the room, I headed straight out to a Brazzers Times, Times the Hub dinner at Rainbow. And that was really nice. There was a lot of people there. I wanted to meet people that I got to meet, friends that I made at AVN. So I'm very excited about that. Sorry. It's actually really hard for me to continue thinking about what I have to say to this camera while I do this, but I'm going to do my best. Anyway, let's see. It's going to be hard. We can do it. multiple things at a time. We can do it. I believe in us. Huh. <sighs> okay. So rainbow dinner. Really awesome. Who did I see there? I got to chat with Ricky Johnson. Abigail Morris is there. I was super excited to see her. So I met her at ABN and she's just such a delightful little sweetheart. This is the only way I know how to do a ponytail and I can't do anything else. Sorry, universe, I can't. I have to flip my head over, get these bottom parts. And I'm very nervous about this. I might just have to like pause this entire video to go do the fucking ponytail before I cry. Oh, I'm not the bumps. This is why I need a stick. Oh God. I think I, I think I, I gotta pause this video. <laughs> a few moments later. Apologies for the interruption. I have the pony. I'm. It's hard. It's hard. I don't know what I'm doing not standing up in front of a mirror. I really don't. Uh, anyway, we're back. The pony is back. We have no flyaways. That's all I wanted. I'm going to try later for a party tonight to put this into a braid. But for French Quarter Fest, we're just going to go with a casual pony. I'm not going to straighten it. I'm not going that far. It's hot. It's humid. We're not doing it. So anyway, next up, we'll put makeup on. Anyway. Where was I? I was talking about Rainbow. Rainbow was great. The dinner was a seated dinner. It was multiple courses. You had your choice in between like a vegan option or a non-vegan option, and which I think was a steak was a non-vegan option. And the other one was eggplant parmesan, but really great. Love the vibe. I had never been there before, but it was really beautiful inside. I will say dinner started at like, I don't know, 7.30, maybe? Or that was the time I told you to arrive, but then we had more time, which was fair because nobody else got there on time. I was on time because I didn't know. I even changed my flight, but I'm glad that I did because I would have been freaking out. So the next day was the awards. Actually, you know what? No, let's see. I went out. Yeah, I went out after the dinner. What did I do? Where did I go? I have no idea. I can't remember. I went out to a bar with some friends and that was nice. And then the next day I went to get my hair and makeup done with time to come back to the hotel room. Me and Sarah Arabic got a hotel room together. So we caught up with each other and then she got ready. We pushed our photo shoot back because she got back from a shoot and uh, she needed a little more time. And uh, then we did a photo shoot with Loki, which we knocked out in 15, 20 minutes and got buku great shots, like absolutely stunners. And then we went to the awards. Oh no, wait, why am I forgetting the line of what we did with everything? Okay, finished the photo shoot. We went to a place for dinner and drinks, swung back to the hotel room because I forgot something. And then we went to the awards. When we showed up, we were actually, <laughs> Sarah and the other person were like, you don't show up to awards on time. And I was like, I have a feeling they actually gave us the time we should be showing up for this. And lo and behold, I was right. Because by the time we got there, the red carpet was temporarily closed because they had a big artist coming in. But we did get to walk right past all the other lines and go straight in, which was nice. So no waiting in line for us. Love that princess treatment. And then we got to go to into the browser section for the awards, which was really nice. Cause then like there were places to sit. They had like wait staff that came and took care of your drinks. I met, or at least introduced myself to Joanna Angel. I got to meet Asa Akira, um, just really amazing people. I also met Gwenadora at the bar. So super excited. 
super exciting. It was just a really good night. I didn't win. The Dan Dangler won in the category that we were in. Super proud of her, excited for her. She has been really working her butt off. I did do a shoot with her for Brazzers. I don't know when it's gonna come out. People always ask me when my scenes are gonna come out. They don't tell me, that's about my pay grade. But yeah, she's a great performer and very talented. So very happy for her. And then the next thing is Friday. What do you do Friday? I took most of Friday off because I didn't want, I wanted to be able to go out, which I did. I did go out that night after the awards even. And uh, had a few more drinks, but thankfully I wasn't too hungover. And the next day I did my, I think that was the third rope shoot that I've done with Ignaz is Izanagi. <laughs> I wish he had an easier name. But whatever. Um, so I did that, which is really fun. And Sarah also came and got tied by him, or them, by them. And I was really excited about that. It was really special. All four of three, no, three of the times that I got tied by them have been really special because they're from Sri Lanka, born and raised, and I never thought that I'd be able to find anyone else, especially like a Shibari like top who was South Asian and it's been really special, very near to my heart. And they're just like a really amazing person. It was really beautiful to be able to share that with Sarah as well, who I know is like a rope enthusiast like me. He likes to explore those things. That was nice. And we went out that night. Sounds like I go out all the time, but I kind of do. And to be fair, so it was Friday. We didn't stay up too late because I had a really early shoot the next day. Um, I had to be somewhere for like 8 a.m. And I was supposed to have three people that I worked with the next day. One of them canceled, which I was fine with because I just ended up moving my second, my one, what would have been my third person up to that spot. And we did two things. So made up for itself. And then that night I went to dinner with me and my friend Marvin, who's also my agent, and Sarah, and some of his friends. It was a nice night. It was went to Nick's on Beverly. And Sunday was Easter. What did you do for Easter? Oh, I did the Girls Gone live stream for Easter. And that was awesome. It was a lot of fun. We just like live streamed and chilled, which was cool. Monday, Tuesday, I think were free days or things canceled. So Monday I worked with Ellie Clutch. And then Wednesday was Mofos. Thursday was Thursday was really busy. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday were all like everything was just like really booked into there. So a lot of photo shoots, all my studio shoots were then all those things were right then. Someone asked more specifically about Tom Foolery. There was Tom Foolery on the nights that I went out. I'm gonna I like to keep my pro life a little private, but it was a good time for I'll tell you that. Something, someone asked something that I'm proud of right now, or I guess something pertaining to this trip that I'm proud of. I'm really proud of all of it, but probably the thing that I'm most proud of from this trip is coming back from it and announcing being signed with the Bakery Talent Agency. When I first met Marvin, who is my friend <laughs> and my agent, he told me that he was going to be starting the agency and that's what he wanted to do. And I remember him asking what my goals were and I was very green. I had no, and I definitely had no idea that I'd be where I am now at that point, but I knew that I wanted him to be my agent. And I was just like, maybe in like three years, I'll be in a place where someone like him wants to have me on his team. And so it was really, just this full circle moment of that was really beautiful and meaningful to be one of the first girls that they signed being like a, like taking that step with someone who's so close to me that I trust so much that made just everything for me. It was really great. Really, really proud of that. And the photo shoot was stunning. I mean, absolutely stunning. Wow. What a beautiful concept. We went with something that was just like skims, very natural, chill, and we got great shots. So yeah, super proud of that. I'm also really proud that 
in the very short amount of time that I've been in this industry that I've even been nominated for awards because the hub awards are based off of data, like people who get nominated. And so at the end of last year in 2023, that's how where like they pulled all the data from. At that point, I had only been in since the beginning of November. That is wild. <laughs> so I'm really, when I put that into perspective into my mind, in two months, I was able to be a big enough sensation, I guess I would say, to be there and to be considered in the room. And so I'm really proud of that <laughs> as well. Um, my favorite part of the trip. My favorite part of the trip Oh my God, wait, where's my eyeliner? Is it in the bag? Oh, this is just gonna be in bloopers. We should definitely do bloopers. Okay, my favorite part of my LA trip. Darn it, noise. My favorite part of the trip was honestly just the company and being able to be surrounded by great people. Sharing a hotel room with Sarah is always great. Just having that camaraderie, that like companionship while I'm on a trip is always really nice and we get along really well. So that's always like one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Even when we have busy days and we don't see each other, it's just like really sweet. Like, sometimes we'll just come back and cuddle in bed and go to sleep. It was really nice. And I like wake up and go get coffee. And, yeah. It's just like those like tinder romy moments. So I wanna ask what my favorite part was of from the awards. Um, Not to sound like a simp, but probably introducing myself to Joanna Angel or being introduced to Joanna Angel. I can't remember exactly how it happened, but it was really great because I've been wanting to meet her um, for quite some time. And I told myself that I was going to stop being a little chicken and do it. And there was a point where she was really like, she was right next to the person that I was with. And I was just in my mind, I was like, eventually when I get done interacting with all the other people on this side of me, I'm going to switch with this person and I'm going to talk more with Joanna. And it just never happened. But baby steps. Um, golly. Okay, I we can do this. Otters. Actually, I can't talk in the eyeliner. Maybe this is the video where I realize I can't do a get ready with me while I'm holding a conversation with a camera because my brain has to be over here. <laughs> Otherwise, I keep forgetting what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Which is also fair because even during Mardi Gras, I'm doing my eyes and such. Like I have to tell my friends, like I'm going over here and I need everyone to leave me alone. This is Jasmine time. Maybe we get better with it. I don't know. Nope, I, I can't do it. Okay, I'm going to have to step off because there's like a shadow that this is casting and I'm not set up the right way. Ah, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. If people are still watching this at this point, chef's kiss to you because I'm a mess. Anyway, but I am almost ready. And these are not almost done. <laughs> Someone asked me if I did a Bollywood tale part two on this trip. I have not. And as far as I know, there is not a plan to do a part two or make that a series, but maybe one day it will be a thing, but it isn't yet. I was also asked a lot of questions of like, when are things going to be released or what projects have dates that are set. Again, I think I said this before, I actually don't know those things. They don't tell me <laughs> when I know I will let everyone know. It will be quite evident. <laughs> Someone asked me if Sarah is actually my wife. The answer is yes. She is my wife. She's mine and you cannot have her. Easier question. <laughs> Someone asked me if I had in and out I didn't. I'm actually not big on fast food. The closest thing you'll see me eating to fast food will be Popeyes, Canes, or Atomic Burger. In a lot of those places, I don't quite consider like, I don't know. I don't feel like a lot of their foods are processed. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not into that. But maybe, maybe Atomic Burger has some processed patties, but they're still feel and taste like real burgers. A few moments later. My patience is really being tested today because I kind of fucking hate 
everything about this shot. And I even brought it closer because I hate the light being that far away. I think everything looks bad. And on top of that, my phone just stopped recording in the middle of my stuff. So I finished everything and then found out, lo and behold, so much. I have no idea where I even stopped because I have no, I don't even know what I said and what I didn't say because I've just been kind of going through and picking things where it made sense. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna go over some stuff and, and that's gonna be that. And we're gonna say that we did our very, very best for this Q&A. Oh, we did our best. We're doing our best for this Q&A and uh, y'all will like it, hopefully. I'm gonna go back through since my camera stopped and I'm just gonna act like there aren't, people being really loud constantly on the street next to me. It's what we're gonna do. I hope you can pretend like it's great too. <laughs> uh, let's see. People were a little confused on what it meant for me to be signed. So I signed with the bakery talent agency. And what that means is I have two agents, Marvin and Jimmy, and they feel through all the requests for my shootings, my bookings, everything and then they are like the point of contact, right? So people will let them know, like they'll be like, hey, here are her rates for this type of shoot or that type of shoot. Hey, this is when she's available. Hey, and do all of that. But I am not signed exclusively to one particular production company. Um, I'm still free to shoot with whoever I wanna shoot with as long as it aligns with what I want for my goals. So that's nice. Um, how, oh, sorry. Going on with general questions, people ask me, how do they search for my videos? It's really simple. I don't know if my SEOs just don't work very well. I should probably get on that. However, if you can't find my videos at this point, bless you, you know, because it's, it's not that difficult. Um, I got the question, if I could bring one friend to Los Angeles with me, who would it be? And I think the obvious answer is Sarah Arabic, but if we're, not counting her in because she is my wife and because she's in the industry then I would say Raquel and <laughs> not to kiss her butt because she is editing this video but because she is amazingly talented she is a wonderful friend we get along pretty well I feel like if there's ever conflict or anything we are even just a disagreement we're able to resolve that and say it and not carry that on through. And um, on top of that, like I said, she's really talented and helps with so many things with production and direction and videoing. And yeah, she's just really amazing. So I'd bring her. Favorite position, business owner, CEO, HBIC. Am I moving to Los Angeles? Right now, I do not have any plans on moving to Los Angeles. I really love being here in New Orleans. I love my friends. I love the city, the culture, the food, the events. It does make me sad that I'm always working, but I'm away a lot. Like this weekend is French Quarter Fest and I'm here working, but that's life. And I'm also very happy to be so blessed to have the opportunities that I have and to be able to work as much as I do and to have the lifestyle that I have. So, you know, all about balance. And now I'm gonna check and make sure this is still recording. Please, God. Okay, thank God. Um, I got a lot of questions about my butt. <laughs> if my butt was real, or if it was fake, if I bought it, or how I maintain it, if I have a workout routine. I wish I had some secret sauce I could sell y'all. I wish if there was a surgeon that I went to for this, I promise you I'd be calling him up on the phone and be like, ring, ring. Hey, so I want some referral fees. You know, I'd make a link for y'all to know who, who did it. Y'all wanted it that bad. Um, and if that was the case, however, it's not. If there was a workout routine, I could profit off of giving you a step-by-step -step routine. I promise you, I would give it to you. I would share it with you. I would want you to have what you want if this is what you want. However, this is just a genetic lottery, honestly. Um, as far as I know, no one else in my family has hips or a butt like this. Even when I was in middle school, I didn't have a butt like this. I was so flat, they called me pancake. Both my mother and my father have completely flat backsides. My brother completely flat. My sister had a little bit of a butt, but she also had a different dad. So we'll go with that. 
and I don't even, well, maybe like while she was alive, I had some of a butt, but it wasn't this. <laughs> it was not, it was not what we're working with. I don't know. As time has gone on, the butt has just developed and I'm very grateful for it. Very, very grateful for it. But no, I uh, don't have a secret sauce to give out to anybody. Sorry. Also, it's like pretty flattering that people think that I would pay to look like this because more before this, I would think to myself, like, why would anyone think that I would pay to have a body like this? You know, because in my mind, if I was going to pay to have a body, I'd be way smaller, I'd be way, way smaller. But I feel, feel grateful that I have so many people that appreciate me the way that I am. So thank you. Let's see brands that I want to work with. I can't think of any just off the top of my head. Honestly, as long as a brand isn't out here like killing kittens or doing something heinous and they have products or things that I use and that I can support, as long as they're good quality, good people, I'm down to work with them. There have been some brands and clothing companies that I've reached out with into partnership with or individuals that do certain things. Um, unfortunately, no one's gotten back to me. <laughs> so, you know, if you are or know someone who has a business or a brand, um, don't feel too shy to reach on out. You can email info at bakerytalent.com, I think it is, and uh, we can talk shop. So, there's that. Still filming. I got asked a fair amount what was the best food I had when I was in LA. I'll say nothing like blew my socks off. However, nothing disgusted me either. However, I am a very particular. I have a high standard of what I might, like, I'm going to be like, oh my God, this is so good. So don't get me wrong. I had good food, but nothing that blew me away. Notable mention. I think the place was called Your Mom's. Had some some good dishes. I think I remember at least one of them not hitting, but I wasn't mad at it. And the service was a little lacking, but we came in at the end of the night. So I, I can't be too mad at them. Nick's on Beverly. I went with Marvin, Sarah, one of Marvin's other friends. And I will say they were tasty, but it did seem like it was their last night. Maybe they ran out of salt, but everything was fresh and very tasty and then someone asked me how i pick my stuffies again i can't remember if this made it into the other clip or not but i thought it was a really cute question and so the things i look for in the stuffies that i travel with are size softness and if they match when like i cuddle with them because when i sleep at night i hold a stuffy so i want one that's soft i want one Typically, I like one that I can also use as a pillow when I'm on a plane. So I've got like a Squishmallow. I use that, but also a little teddy bear that I got at AVN. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not use him as a pillow, but he's maybe less of a pillow. But he is smaller, so it's easier to stuff him into a bag. So you gotta think about those things. That is it. That is all for the safer work questions that I got. I appreciate everyone that submitted some questions and got this out of me. I think I've definitely learned some things about this entire setup for sure. I want to probably go through everything a little better and have a better setup. Probably go through with my friend Raquel, talk about lighting, how I'm going to frame everything. So I definitely feel like even this shot is probably a little too narrow and I know they swap, but I kind of don't care at this point because I'm at the end of my rope. I just want to go to French Quarter Fest and eat some food. So yeah, anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.